Come on. Quick. Down. Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. Eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it together. brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Go say hi to your mother. Yeah, it's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Uh, probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! Uh... Was your dress that caused all the problems? It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. Je sais pas pourquoi, mais j'avais qu'un micro. Excuse me, Mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me. Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, 
Stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Est-ce que vous êtes prêts à vous faire gueuler dessus, les gars Abigail. Ah non. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had many problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do?
That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pop! <coughs> I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Go. Told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What is that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You... you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She... She's fine. <laughs> He was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh. Well, it's legal. I usually. We got a bit of a ride. I know. Yeah. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. 
I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season. Good lord. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fella from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the welcome center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. There? You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Um. The. Four. Mr. Kirk. Mr. Kirk, you. In Stop. Hey, that's Nathan Kirk. Oh, got him? Oh, shut up. Come on, jump on. We gotta get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. He went right.
you caught there. I don't deserve this treatment. Hey, get him again. He's loose again. How'd you let him go? Okay, okay. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. What now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Okay. Ok, il faut que j'aille à Blackwater. C'est quoi, on a un putain de campement Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But <coughs> just be okay with that. <coughs> really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. 
Come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Come on, then. Let's go, girl. Help a blind man. Here. I see sand and ocean okay, and messy. palm trees. Find the black flower. You will be rewarded. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. <laughs> Friend. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna owns it. That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. <laughs> Oh, sie sind mit Palu. Ah, it's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here.
Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking, they own me, they just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> just joking. You was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> You're a good girl now. Follow me. A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. <coughs> Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Epilogue.
working hard? It's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it, constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slum. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons? And you take the slums. Partner, you seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure, I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Took you so long. Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. Oh, he told me Charles surprise. was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great and mysteries. You are a <laughs> we both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're you're I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. Oh, so's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Kind of, kind of just... I don't know. <coughs> I'm throwing fights for a few <coughs> Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? On va rester sur notre ami Ken. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battle from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by retirement or you win by death. 
Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. It's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here and heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now... Why? Il a éteint, frérot. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in this Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Sure is bright out. He was a good man. Hey, as much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. That's what his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all... Oh, you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know... He ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sissica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths? Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... We were on a very bad path. And Micah Bell dragged us into the abyss. Mm. Never ends well. Gangs like ours don't ride off into the sunset. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs>
Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Sand and me ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? <sighs> I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John! Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Ok, c'est bien. C'est bien ce qu'on fait. Oh, on tue des gens. Ah, feels like old times. <rire> Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine. Wow. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. It's coming. <laughs> See, I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Voilà. Bon. Pour cet épisode, les gars, je sais ce qu'il nous reste à faire.